I went to the hospital with somebody. They're running a separate wing talking about a program which can help you cure cancer. And I said, do you have FDA approvals? She said, yes, in America, but not in India. She said, we don't make any result guarantees. She could not even tell me if there are any benefits. The cost is five lakhs. Somebody who's suffering from cancer and in a hope, she's also going to spend five lakh rupees. I rather say you eat good and enjoy your life. Women are trying to look the same with the same big breasts, big lips, no expression, very well fitted clothes. I think they are trying to look like clones now. Do not listen to influencers. We, we are subject matter experts. My area is uh, cosmetology. I can give you the content for cosmetology. I can tell you the right direction. But you see influencers today that talk about every damn thing. These are confused people. Your uh, viewers will be agreeing here that the cream they bought 3 years ago on Instagram maybe they won't buy it today or won't get it because people are just opening brands, finishing up their stock because of advertising and then running to a second name, third name, fourth name. There is a lot happening in the industry which is only advertisement. So welcome to Second Act Podcast. Thank you, Archana. Thank you so How much. How are you feeling, by the way? I am feeling really, really excited because I've not mm. done a podcast before. Oh, So this is my wow. first podcast. I've done a lot of interviews. I've done a lot of, uh, you know, media. But podcast is the first one. So I'm right. quite excited. So ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else, this is Mo. I'm not going to introduce him because he just top code in my life sometime yeah. back. I don't know from where. He's fun, he's courageous, he's daring, he's bold, and he's there to get the world. So, Mo, over to you, by the way. And by the way, this is the first time I'm sitting like this because I think for the it's comfort. It's a fun, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm feeling jealous. Why am I not like that? Oh, you can, of course. Momentarily, <laughs> maybe. You don't know. So, so hi, guys. Uh, my name is Mohit Narang. And uh, since you gave all the adjectives, but I have to introduce myself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my name is Mohit Narang. I'm a cosmetologist by uh, education and profession. And uh, I also uh, manufacture skincare products. Um, I started my journey long back um, when <coughs> I went to Germany and got the first skincare product for India that wow. was called as CLAP. I became their partner in India. It was called CLAP Cosmetics. And I uh, ran the brand for a couple of years before I discovered that um, a lot of foreign brands were wanting to come to India okay. and uh, explore the big market. And you know, India, China, because population based market. So everybody wants to be in India. And at the same time, nobody wants to to turn their product according to India. Mm. So I told them that, you know, the formulation is not as good for uh, mm. European market and Indian market. How can you have the same formula? So I didn't listen to my talk. They said the world needs only German and French products. Of course, so, they're the best. Yes, they're the best, but not suited for us. You know, uh, even the BMW, if you have a sports car in India, do you think the potholes in India are suited for that? Yeah. Yeah, so I think <laughs> I think a GLS is suited for India, but the sports car is not suited for India, right? So our roads are different. So you need to make those changes before you plan to launch any product in the Indian market. So I think that is a very important aspect for any international brand coming to the market. And that is what I suggested. And there is where they denied to, to start like that. Hmm. And that is the time I decided that I will brand my own brand. And? And I did it. I have five skincare brands today. I run a factory. We also manufacture third party for other skincare brands. So when I started this journey, um, I was just a cosmetologist. I know how to do treatments, but I did not know how to manufacture them. So I got a lot of experience in uh, Singapore. I got a lot of experience from Hong Kong. I did one factory in China, Hong Kong border. And then uh, I started my journey by having my own setup, uh, R&D setup in the United States. And uh, then later, getting the formula to India and started manufacturing under Made in India program uh, at Manesar uh, in Gurgaon. Wow. And, and seven years down the line, and we have a premium name in the market. The brand is known for its quality and we are selling at par with the European pricing. What is the name? So uh, the brand is called Phytomo, which is the lead product. Phyto is the plant, Mo is the first two letters of my name. So okay. that how wow. we gel in together wow. and it's called Phytomo. Mm -hmm. And Phytomo is my lead brand. We also do uh, Skin New, 
that's another brand. We do Derma Cleanish, we do uh, um, Zootox, we do uh, Skin On. We've got a couple of brands that we do. So uh, the journey has been great. I've been a contributing editor to a few magazines in India. I write columns. I do a lot of TV shows for uh, Care World TV. I've done a lot of other programs. So uh, the idea was to spread the word of beauty. And uh, beauty is one market which I feel was exploited before because the education was not there. And now is largely expo exploited. Greaterly exploited now because the consumer is left confused at large. I know that we have to come to a second act question and you have a great second act. So I don't want to get away from that. But I have some beauty related of questions course, since of course. you're a cosmetologist. Sure, why not? So you said that the Indian skin is different, Indian uh, Correct. Uh, environment is different. So we need different products right. and you have been instrumental in introducing. But you said another thing, people are confused. Today I want to use a night cream. I have 30,000 options. Yes. If I want to use um, UV rays or like you know protection SPF. from or the SPF or protection from sun, I don't know which one to go to. Correct. I see Deepika Padukone now you coming know, come, up with the whole come, line. Yes. Yeah. So we say, yeah. oh yeah, but that's something I can trust. But to be honest, I don't know. I think it should be the other way around. Okay. We are becoming so smart today, you know. Uh, Indians, not only, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're at Chandrayaan, you know, we are really smart. Okay. <laughs> Why do we get this word influencer is actually not heard correctly. Do not listen to influencers. Achha. Because yeah, are, they... I'm an influencer. You are an influencer in your no, own right? No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we are subject matter experts. Okay. You're not influencing in a way where it is not your area. Okay. My area is... Uh, cosmetology I can give you the content for cosmetology I can tell you the right direction but you see influencers today that talk about every damn thing they want to talk about clothing they want to talk about skincare they want to talk about where to pick up the food from where to live where to travel these are confused people now this is a big statement a bold statement that yes. I'm making because these people are only lifestyle oriented Listen to people who come from the background. If somebody is a cosmetologist, if somebody is a, a dietitian, follow that person and get the right tip from them. But don't listen to influencers who are confused within themselves. There are people who are talking about anything and everything because they want to set up a YouTube channel or they want to start an Instagram page, they want followers. This is not correct information. So there is where people are left confused. They see a lot of movie stars. I'm sorry, I did also write an article for Femina long time ago where I very boldly said there is nothing called Mardon Wali Fairness Cream. And the brand ambassador was Shah Rukh Khan. So you are trying to tell people that this is a different formula. But do you know that men and women's skin have the same layers? Mm -hmm. But if you want to dissect and get into everything for men separately, why can't I pick up your cream and apply and why can't you pick up my cream and apply? It's absolutely fair till the time you know that there is no ingredient that is going to conflict with your area of interest. No, no, you're right. But at the same time, I feel that if you differentiation, if you don't make a different product, then you will not buy it. So two things. Demographic. Generic. Demographic is one thing. Okay. Ethnic origin is one thing that you can create. But you can't create everything for a little different circumstance. I want to give you a very funny example. Hmm. Sure. A wash for men's balls coming out in the market. What happened to Sabun? Do you have to clean balls from that? No, it won't happen. It won't happen today. Who had a problem with... Somebody thought that we must market a special product for men. Actually, it's for women. You know, women are getting that product for their husbands. Oh, really? yeah. Get yourself clean balls. So, <laughs> this is marketing. For me, it's absolutely marketing. You know, so coming into cosmetology space, cosmetic space, people are actually creating too much fuss and drama over the same product. Now, that is only marketing. So, you guys have to be smart enough to decide whether you need your own face soap to clean your balls or you need a special face wash for your ass, for your balls. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just being blunt. But this is very funny to me. 
a lot of women come to you these days because definitely of course ek to you're good looking upar se you're a cosmetologist upar se you have so much gyan aur main shaitan bhi hu <laughs> and you're shaitan also yes. so a lot of women come to you to say how can i look beautiful yes so what's your advice to sabse pehli meri advice hai uh, i always tell them beauty is desire अगर आप मेरे पास आते हो और आप मैं बोलते हो कि आई एम परफेक्ट आई डोंट वांट टू चेंज माय स्किन कलर आई डोंट वांट टू चेंज एनीथिंग आई वांट टू जस्ट कीप अ गुड रेज्यूम फॉर माय स्किन दैट इज फाइन आई लाइक सच पीपल बट इफ पीपल कम टू मी एंड से आई वांट टू बी वाइट आई एम नॉट द पर्सन फॉर दैट ओके यू कैन लुक ब्राइट ओके आई एम नॉट बींग हियर रेसिस्ट यू नो देर आर प्रोडक्ट्स दैट क्लेम टू मेक यू वाइट बट इट नेवर हैपन्स Imagine so many brands from India. Well, we will come back to inject, inject, injectables because there is a big discussion over it. Okay, injectables is not a small topic. It's a big topic. I don't know on what basis people are doing it. Um, if you have got a Botox or a filler done, if you've got a, a whitening injection done, have you ever seen your blood profile before and after? Is it required? you know there are so many things which do not require a blood test but then there are so many things which do people are trying to inject vitamin c people are trying to inject different kind of ingredients into your skin today can they be metabolized easily you know this is the question you said women should not come if they want mai mai isko simplify karta hu theek hai sabse pehle to product banana chahiye agar aap yahan se fly karke ja rahe hain london america पेरिस uh, जो हमारे इंडियंस की फेवरेट जगह है दुबई लंडन अमेरिका पेरिस यू नो पीपल पिक अप परफ्यूम फ्रॉम द ड्यूटी फ्री आई लाइक इट इफ यू पिक अप स्किन केयर फ्रॉम द ड्यूटी फ्री आई थिंक यू नॉट इंटेलिजेंट माइनस फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी माइनस थर्टी प्लस फिफ्टी इंडिया डू यू थिंक द सेम क्रीम विल वर्क यूर इट विल मेक यू स्वेट ओके सो लुक एट द सन रेज लुक एट इंडिया यू माइट वॉन्ट टू पिक अप एन गुड एस पी एफ फ्रॉम दुबई That's okay, but it will also make you sweat because there are hundred plus SPF hundred plus plus, wow. right? India, I think UV fifty fifty protection factor is enough. Mm. So basically, you have to first study your demographic. Okay, लोगों को लगता हम पहाड़ पे रहते हैं. हमें तो SPF नहीं चाहिए. You are closer to the sun. Your altitude is higher. That's why people get freckles fast when you are on a higher altitude. तो अगर आप नॉर्थ इंडिया में हैं, आपका ऑल्टीट्यूड हायर है आपको डेफिनेटली एसपीएफ चाहिए या व्हेन यू गोइंग टुवर्ड्स द साउथ एसपीएफ कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड द डिग्री ऑफ एसपीएफ कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड यू नो सो बेसिकली स्टडी योर डेमोग्राफिक दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टडी योर स्किन टाइप ओके एंड देन लॉट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट डू नॉट नीड योर स्किन टाइप लेट्स से वी टॉकिंग ऑन द प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू बी यू हैव टू बी वेल रेड एंड वेल अवेयर you get awareness today people are only getting awareness out of instagram out of facebook yeah. Yeah. this is where we are trying to spend maximum time and the moment we are getting this kind of awareness you know we're just scrolling up down up down usme jitna aata hai hame lagta hai wahi sahi gyan hai our brain is now tuned to starting to believe what everybody is saying on instagram please don't do that don't do that yeah So you know where will we find a mohit everywhere no it's not about finding me i am i am just a drop in the ocean there are lot of doctors there are lot of surgeons out there who talk very good you know i don't want to name anyone on on your show but please find a good resource to to follow mm-hmm. i'm sure people are following their own cosmetologist they are they're going to a dermat please follow the right people if you get good results fine and there are also a bunch of people who are really aggressive to make money Hmm. I will give you an example, an ugly example later down the the show, and you will be shocked that just to make money, people can really do anything and everything. I'm talking about doctors in India who can really. Uh, so you know about PRP treatment, hmm. right? Hmm. So PRP is taking out the plasma from your blood and injecting it in a place where they feel that you can become white, you can get hair back, so many other things, hmm. right? I know of a doctor who started to use PRP for uh, fertility program, which is absolutely stupid, mm-hmm. and the FDA has not given clearance. How are you actually trying to administer PRP for fertility? Mm-hmm. It's not working, you know. But women are going there. People are happening. Things are happening, and then I think it's just exploiting your client in a big way. No, but then, like you said, awareness. I'm sure that women who are going there. 
have read about it, heard about it, and then how come people who are aware are also going there? Because I went you're to talking about I went to the hospital with somebody, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a a separate clinic inside the hospital. They're running a separate wing talking about a program which can help you cure cancer. And when I went deeper in that program and I said, do you have FDA approvals? She said, yes, in America, but not in India. She said, we don't make any result guarantees. Obviously, there are no guarantees. Then possibly she could not even tell me if there are any benefits. The cost is five lakhs. Somebody who's suffering from cancer and in a hope she's also going to spend five lakh rupees. I rather say you eat good and enjoy your life. People are coming up with all kind of theories. These are little gimmicks that are happening and largely they are happening at lot of beauty salons, lot of skin clinics, lot of dermatology centers. You be aware what is the right treatment for you. If people are trying to exploit you, be smart and actually choose what is correct for you. Mohit, you said that skin type ki zarurat nahi hoti har cheez ke liye, right? Correct. Correct. But abhi tak to mujhe yehi samaj aata tha ki skin type is everything. So well, what well, are see, the products? This is where people get confused. Tell me, face wash karna hai. Hmm. To oily skin, dry skin, hume face wash us hisaab se chahiye. When you are excessively oily, we want to make you excessively dry. Right. We must know your skin type. Hmm. Correct? But when you say anti-aging, hmm. do we need your skin type? No. Because we know that it's already uh, a mature skin. Hmm. And the ingredients that she's looking for are only for anti-aging. Right. But so, उसमें skin type नहीं चाहिए. नहीं चाहिए. अगर आपको pigmentation है, you have a mark on your face. Do we need to really know whether you are dry skin, oily skin? No. When you've got a mark and we're working towards one treatment line, we don't need it. Dry skin को भी acne आता है, right? तो हमें acne का product चाहिए. So do we need a skin type? No. We need an ingredient that can fight against wrinkle, pigments, and acne. So find yourself the right product that can fight with these kind of problems. So there are general products that need skin type and these products are cleanser, toners, hmm. very general, hmm. okay. But your day cream hmm. needs to be suited to the weather condition outside. You live in the heat, 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 so your environment should not impact your skin, right. And night cream should be like that, which fights with your So we don't need to know what exactly is your skin type. Okay. Yeah, so that is how I'm sorry that I don't do too much of uh, trainings over social media, which a lot of people are telling me to start. Yes. And sometimes I don't get time. I will make more episodes probably and share my links with you guys so your audience can have better information on skincare. Yes, absolutely. I think all the myths that you are breaking here, I think we all need to know. You know, your, your uh, viewers will be agreeing here. That the cream they bought in three years on Instagram, whether they want to buy it or not, they will not get it. Because people are just opening brands, finishing up their stock because of advertising and then running to a second name, third name, fourth name. There is a lot happening in the industry which is only advertisement uh, related. But also that people want to be more beautiful every day now. It wasn't the case. Uh... It should be like that. When the phone came, when we started taking a selfie, what does the selfie mean? To love yourself. Yeah? So, when we love ourselves, first people were watching Shisha Gham, now people are watching Shisha the whole time. They check their makeup on mobile too. If you don't get, if you don't get a mirror, you're also opening your selfie camera and checking out before entering any space that, am I looking good? That is important. You know, what is there in life? If you are not well uh, maintained, up to date, then what's there else? what else is there, you know? Jewelry cannot make you look fancy. Mm. True. Your LV bag can only shout that you have money. But looking good, looking bright, looking confidence, mm. you know, that confidence talks a lot. You know, that is important. Perfect. You spoke about selfie. Yes. And I'm very intrigued because uh, I know that you have introduced Chitrahar in your life. Yes. Hannah, and that's your second act. It is my second act, Chitrahar. I'm, um, I'm very passionate about this new baby of mine. And uh, I'm trying to do uh, two things from Chitrahar. One is uh, photography. Uh, the other one is interior. So there is, a, there is a link between the both, which I will explain you. No, but what's the link between beauty 
मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि लाइफ का सेकेंड एक्ट जो है वो बहुत लोग नहीं कर पाते यू नो और मुझे ऐसा लगता है सबको करने की इच्छा होती है क्या है वो सेकेंड एक्ट मेरा सेकेंड एक्ट आपका पैशन हो सकता है सेकेंड एक्ट आपकी कोई दबी हुई इच्छा हो सकती है जो आप हमेशा करना चाहते थे जब बच्चा हमारी इंडियन सोसाइटी में बड़ा होता है ना तो पहले तो उसको यही समझाते रहते हैं डॉक्टर लॉयर इंजीनियर यही प्रोफेशन है पायलट बन जाओ ये बन जाओ बिकॉज लेट से माई सेकेंड एक्ट यू नो आई जस्ट पिक अप द कैमरा एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू बी ए फोटोग्राफर जब किसी का बच्चा बड़ा हो रहा होता है ना वो कहता है अरे यार फोटोग्राफर बनेगा पागल हो गया आप सोच सकते हैं कि कोई अपने बच्चे को बोले यार हेयर स्टाइलिस्ट बन जा hmm. या बाल काटेगा क्या यू नो व्हेन आई वाज ग्रोइंग अप आई आई टोल्ड माय डैड दैट आई कुड हैव बीन अ हेयर स्टाइलिस्ट सो ही सेड आर यू सीरियस यू नो ही डिडंट कंडेम द आईडिया बट ही वाज नॉट वेरी हैप्पी विद द आईडिया आई कुड मेक आउट देन आई वेंट टू डू माय स्किन केयर ट्रेनिंग एंड कॉस्मेटोलॉजी साउंडेड बेटर टू देम दे थॉट या अ कॉस्मेटोलॉजिस्ट वर्ड बट लेट मी टेल यू आई कुड हैव एक्चुअली बीन अ गुड हेयर स्टाइलिस्ट that is what i grew up thinking mm. and there was nothing wrong being a hair stylist of course not you, you know celebrity hair stylist you know it's big you know lot of people thought that this is not the profession mm. so a lot of people that's why do not do their second act in life correct right to hame jaise 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 hum bade hote hain hame bataya jata hai ek to guided information hoti hai bachcha chhota hai mm. aap usko bar bar bol rahe ho doctor engineer lawyer banker to uske dimag mein ye panch grah ghum rahe hain <laughs> उसको एक ग्रह चूज करना है तो अपने मन की इच्छा तो कहीं ना कहीं दबानी पड़ जाती है या दैट इज वन प्रॉब्लम फिर उसके बाद सेकेंड एक्ट के लिए आपके पास पैसा होना चाहिए दैट इज अनदर इशू तो मेरे को ऐसा लगता है जब हम मिड लाइफ में आके सेकेंड एक्ट कभी शुरू करने लगे तो दैट इज द टाइम वेन यू आर ऑलरेडी सेटल्ड और अगर आपका भी कोई सेकेंड एक्ट है और आप ऑलरेडी uh, uh, बड़े स्टेबल्ड है अपने बिजनेस में तो आई थिंक सेकेंड एक्ट कर लेना चाहिए बिकॉज वीव गॉट वन लाइफ और इस पैसे को ये यही रह जाएगा बैंक में ना आप लेके जाओगे ना मैं लेके जाऊंगा ये बात कंफर्म्ड है तो अपना सेकंड एक्ट अगर आप करना चाहते हैं तो यही मौका है कर लेना चाहिए थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन है कि इतने ज्यादा पैसे नहीं चाहिए सेकंड एक्ट हम विद और विदाउट मनी कर सकते हैं इट्स अबाउट फाइंडिंग योर पैशन यू कैन वॉक इन द वुड्स लिसन टू द बर्ड्स बिकॉज यू हैव नेवर डन दैट बिफोर दैट इज अ लेजरली एक्टिविटी सेकंड एक्ट मेरा मेरा मतलब सेकंड एक्ट से है कि अगर आपके मन में कोई पैशन था आपको लगता था कि आप पेंटर बन पाएंगे आपको लगता था कि गिटार मेरी चीज है आपको लगता था कि शायद मैं यू नो आई कैन डू गुड पेंटिंग आई कैन आई कैन डू हैंड बैग्स वॉट एवर यू थॉट एंड आपने कुछ कुछ करने की कोशिश भी करी बट यू नो लॉट ऑफ पीपल द सोसाइटी अराउंड यू नीड्स टू बी एजुकेटेड इनफ एंड सपोर्टिव इनफ यू नो जैसे मैंने अपने किसी फ्रेंड को बोला कि मैं कैमरा यू नो आई आई पिक अप द कैमरा एंड आई स्टार्ट डूइंग फोटोग्राफी तो द मोमेंट आई क्रिएटेड दैट चैनल समबडी कॉल्ड मी एंड से यार मेरे बच्चों की फोटो खींच देगा यू नो द डेफिनेशन वॉज वेरी डिफरेंट एंड दैट फोन कॉल वॉज नॉट actually that they wanted me to click the picture the phone call was to make fun that oh you're doing photography oh really i thought he really meant it no he did not mean it <laughs> what he meant was ki kya pagalon wala kaam shuru kar diya tune you know mm-hmm. like that so i enjoy such people i don't this is the kind of things if you can't face these things you can never be yourself you have to stand against all odds and get into your second act आपने चित्रहार को जन्म दिया है बट चित्रहार तो हम बचपन से सुनते आ रहे हैं सो इज इट रिलेटेबल इसीलिए मैंने नाम चित्रहार रखा है बिकॉज आई थिंक दैट बचपन से हम देखते आ रहे हैं एंड द जोनर दैट आई एम डूइंग इट रिलेट्स टू द चित्रहार दैट वी नो ओके सो वन आई एम वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ मोनोक्रोमैटिक पिक्चर्स ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट पिक्चर्स एंड आई थिंक ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट इज ब्यूटिफुल या सो आई वॉन्ट टू गो बैक टू ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट फाइन आर्ट फोटोग्राफी so i branded myself as chitrahar fine art photography uh ek cheez to challenge ye hai modern times mein that uh, uh interior karte hue jab hame paintings khareedni hoti hai they right. they are very expensive today and uh, if somebody wants to put at least 5 to 10 pieces at home it is a huge budget to hum bahut saal wait karte reh jate hai ki hum ek ek karke chitra ikatthe karenge which is a good habit like uh, collecting art is uh, definitely something very nice which but you sometimes can see all around here. yes um, i want to i want to you know i don't want to go off track but your pad guys if you've not been here you must come here she's got a great collection of art 
and i also came to know that you have better art at home so <laughs> some day we'll do this podcast from your house uh, so basically uh, i started clicking monochromatic pictures and selling rights of these pictures to people who want to use them for interiors so i'm in touch with a lot of interior designers interior stylists who would like to create these in, uh, uh, pictures as installations for home use oh. so that was one genre and the other one is definitely i want uh, street photography to uh, to uh, come in to chitrahar because okay. street photography is something that really mm. brings out the real life you know um, uh, life the real life is not in the shopping mall the real life is not around the dior showroom the real life is in probably chandni chowk in jama masjid you know common people uh, doing their daily chores you know uh, looking at really how kids are growing on the street mm-hmm. and that is the real life and i'm very um, uh, connected to this kind of an emotion and fine art photography means bring it bringing the emotion out of a flat picture mm-hmm. so when you click a picture it's it's totally flat आपको नहीं पता लगता है कि आपने क्या खींचा है बट वेन यू गो डीप इन साइड द डिटेल्स तो आपको पता लगता है कैसे एक हिंदू और मुस्लिम इकट्ठे इकट्ठे बैठ के चाय पी रहे बट यहां पे तो लड़ाई हो रही है बट अगर आप कॉमन जगह पे जाओगे तो आप उनसे पूछोगे तो उनके लिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यू नो आई हैड सो मेनी पाकिस्तानी फ्रेंड्स वाइल आई एम ट्रेवलिंग आई हैव लिव्ड इन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम बिटवीन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान बट देर इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम there is no problem between uh, uh, hindus and muslims in india but there is a big problem so religion is one part uh, growing up in poverty is one part you're not trying to shame anything you're trying to bring out the beauty of simplicity beautiful and i have seen uh, chitrahar you have a beautiful catalog and also Thank some you. pictures where i saw how you visualized it and it's come out so beautifully when you actually thank you thank you so i i i am very um, emotional when it comes to uh, chitrahar because i'm trying to shape the the brand and uh, i'm writing a coffee table book so probably in another one and a half two years i will complete this book which will have different genres of emotions Great. You know. So then we will welcome you back in the second half podcast one more time. Thank you so much. With your coffee table book. Thank you so much. So do it quickly, yeah. Huh? Yes, I will try to do that <laughs> quickly. But India is a vast land. I want to cover the whole country. Um, I don't want to have specific pictures. I want to have specific emotions at specific demographic locations. Mm. It's got a lot of connection. Beautiful. Yeah. So may you connect people. May you connect lives. Thank may you. you beautify people may you just do everything to make this world a nicer more like really warm place thank you so much <laughs> you know um, you asked me one of these questions which i haven't answered how did i trans uh, you know my my energies transferring from cosmetology to to chitra yes you know um, when you when you learn cosmetology you learn two very important things expression of a human being mm-hmm. okay and people who come to correct these expressions so i'm going to pick up this big name called botox you know and <laughs> it's a it's a big name and lot of women are excited thinking that they will look wow after the botox which is absolutely my dear friends not correct um if you are a movie star if you are a if you are a model and you want a flatter face you want less expressions Have you seen the models walking on the ramp? Hmm. Very flat. They don't want to smile. But they are meant to be walking like that. Correct. But yeah. they also if they in the natural in their natural day to day life if they start making expression like you and me they will have a frown line they will have a laugh line they need to freeze their expressions while they are young. So botulinum toxin uh, an ingredient that paralyzes your face. Okay? Hmm. But also at the same time like if i know archana for a very long time i know you as a fun loving person you just you introduced for a very long time no two months two months so you <laughs> just introduce me as a fun loving person if you know me as a fun loving person you would know my expression you know so the meaning is that if immediately somebody who meets you tomorrow and sees that there is no expression on your face she will say what happened to you she will sympathize with you and that is the reality initially botox looks very good towards the middle people start asking you are you upset are you depressed towards the third leg you are depressed because people do not connect to people who have no emotions 
you have emotions here you have emotions here but there is the face is blank the face is emotionless we don't want to connect so supposing let's say uh, you go to mcdonald's a very simple example you go to mcdonald's there are two women standing the counters are free one is smiling one has a flat face where do you go the one with the smiling face we've been taught we've been seeing and that it's a natural attraction to a livelier person right and imagine the world getting botox everybody's flat these lips are popping out i think now we're trying to look the same i think now women are trying to look the same with the same big breasts big lips no expression very well fitted clothes i think they are trying to look like clones now and that is where we are going wrong and so you think men don't get botox done no both both the sexes i am not talking so about you women i am not that. no I, it's an example i am not saying just men or women people are using botox and if anybody uses botox will have a zero expression a flatter face if a corporate person who wants to make a very dynamic presentation and has no expression i think it's even worse for men so what is the other way to um, have a tighter skin to well there are a lot of non invasive treatments okay. there is radio frequency there is hifu there is uh, uh, skin lifting threads there are invasive and non invasive ways but i strongly advocate do not use botox because they have a lot of negatives to them not only the emotional thing botox gone wrong is something very interesting to google uh, while you have time okay botox gone wrong so what happens is that eyelids are droopy if anything goes wrong on your face while administering botox you live with it for the next 3 months because it will not come back it is not you cannot undo it so mohit i think we will need a separate podcast for botox what do you say uh, a different uh, separate podcast for say no to botox <laughs> so i no. i am very bold to say this this is my profession hmm. i am a cosmetologist botox fillers um, people are getting implants done what are the side effects and why they should not be done why should they be done what are the other alternatives to uh, looking beautiful there is a lot that goes behind and when i look at somebody right. and i try to help them out that is where i wanted to be behind the camera oh that's when chitrahar happened that is where chitrahar happened i used to click pictures of women before and after mm -hmm. when we do a treatment after so before we click a picture and after we click a picture and i thought that a lot of times that women are beautiful before there's no problem taking care of your this skin is, is uh, important you keep talking about women so i keep want to keep correcting you this is humans okay yeah. men women children everyone correction required. okay but <laughs> when i see clients from behind the camera clients when i see them from behind the camera i genuinely sometimes feel that you are beautiful why do you want i get girls who are very slim and they tell me mohit can you see the double chin now if i am a greedy guy i can see it <laughs> and if i am not a greedy guy i will tell her get out you have no double chin right so i normally do that I normally tell her don't be foolish you need to put on some weight because <laughs> when you lose fat from the face towards 60s it can never come back and that is what makes you look young for a very long time you need fat pad so a lot of women don't understand that right abhi aap crash you diet bhi karoge ye dekho ye bada sexist sa chal raha hai podcast i think mai sexist nahi chal raha mera mera jo profession hai na wo women oriented zyada hai yeah men men are coming to even men if they lose a lot of fat from their face okay towards the 60s then you are only dependent on a filler right so i am trying to tell you things where you don't have to be dependent on botox and fillers man ki shanti hogi तो आपका चेहरा भी शांत दिखेगा बहुत से पंडित आते हैं बोलते हैं आपके चेहरे से पता लग रहा है आप दुखी हो ये पंडित का काम नहीं ये कॉस्मेटोलॉजिस्ट का काम है हम आपको देख के बता सकते हैं कि आपकी चिंता क्या है यू नो बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट यू कैन सी दैट फ्राउन लाइन एंड दैट मीन्स दैट यू गेट अप एवरी मॉर्निंग विद ऑलरेडी अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस आई कैन सी दोज ने टेल यू दैट शी इज ऑलवेज लाफिंग राइट सो वी कैन स्टडी दिस इज वेरी कॉमन टू अंडरस्टैंड i'm sure the uh, the viewers are uh, in sync with what i'm talking and also at the same time if your heart is in 
distress you know uh, if you have a lot of stress in your heart it reflects on your face to aap pehle to apni chinta khatam karo you know you have to start learning how to relax so yoga is a good thing meditation is a good thing going to the gym is a good thing picking up your second act is definitely a good thing oh it's the fantastic thing i say it's the best thing i say <laughs> it is the best thing because your happiness hamare paas hamare hindustan mein i i uh, love Uh, the word parents in India, अमेरिका के पेरेंट्स क्या है ना वो आप हाई स्कूल करा दिया बच्चों को निकाल दिया जो मर्जी कर यू नो इंडिया का पेरेंट जो होगा ना वो अपने बच्चों की एजुकेशन उसका काम फिर उसकी शादी फिर उसके बच्चे फिर उनकी शादी तक प्लानिंग कर लेते हैं और इन सारी चीजों का हमारे माँ बाप को स्ट्रेस रहता है राइट तो सोचो उनके पास तो सेकेंड एक्ट का टाइम ही नहीं है उनके तो मल्टीपल एक्ट चल रहे हैं माइंड में एंड दे गेट अप विथ Stress which they don't need to take, which they really don't need to take this kind of stress. So the newer generation is trying to now adapt. They don't take too much of stress, hmm. but their stress levels are different. Because you don't want to get married, you don't want to have kids, you don't want to have any liabilities. So obviously, that is one way. Not everybody is thinking the same way, like I do. You know, <laughs> I'm single. I have no stress, so I can I can be stress free. Oh, that's important in this podcast. <laughs> this man is single, by the way. Yes, still available. So, ये जो आपकी जो हंसी खुशी है, ये इसी कारण ये लोगों से बर्दाश्त नहीं होती. सही बात. Lot of my friends tell me, ये ये अकेला रहता है ना, ये मस्ती मारता रहता है. Yeah. Yeah. कोई बोलने को नहीं है कि क्या बोल रहे हो चलो. Yes. Time हो गया. उठो. Yeah. That is not happening in my life. So, बहुत इसमें एक बहुत interesting section है हमारे पास. I'm sorry but I'm not sorry. I am And never sorry. <laughs> about sorry. anything. I'm sorry but I'm not sorry. Okay. So aap aisi panch cheeze bataiye jiske liye you would like to use this sentence I'm sorry but I'm not sorry. Uh I am single. I'm sorry mom and dad but I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um I talk very bluntly about uh, uh botox. It's my profession guys. I teach so many things. but i'm not sorry because that is the reality if i were to tell my mom my sister i will not let them do botox as long as possible so i'm not sorry about it okay. you know um, i couldn't get six packs i try very hard but i <laughs> i surrender to butter chicken so i'm not sorry <laughs> i'm sorry but i'm not sorry um i do miss uh, my sporting activity like cycling you know i love to cycle or oh, we just saw your instagram post you were cycling in delhi all around yes so i hardly get time i you know time management is a difficult task um i had a fantastic group in delhi delhi riders club we were a big group during covid and uh, and now we are not doing it guys get up we are sorry <laughs> about it we must not be sorry yeah so nice. did it make four already yes. yes and and the fifth one is that why did i start photography very late it could have been my real profession you know so i am not sorry because i am a cosmetologist but i'm <laughs> sorry why am i not a photographer first beautiful so this was a wrap for a very interesting discover your second act podcast thank you you can see this man is very energetic charged up and has a lot of controversial topics to speak <laughs> about and that we'll do another day so thanks for joining in and tata Thank you. So this is yet another incredible episode of Discover Your Second Act. I'm hoping that as me, you are feeling very very excited, enthusiastic and learned about all the nuggets that came out. So follow us on Spotify, YouTube, Apple and of course, until next time, keep discovering your second act.